Hello, right? I'm Jeremy, and I used to have IBS. I would be going to the bathroom seven to 10 times a day, liquid stool. And now I eat whatever I want with no symptoms. And each day, two to three times a day, I go to the restroom with regular nice. stool. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Tell us about your journey. It's kind of sounded like you were in a dark place there for a while. Yeah, I really was. Um, it all started back in 2017. Mm -hmm. I started to have symptoms. I had uh, cramping, gut pain, uh, gut rumbling, gas, and liquid stools. And kind of, you know, basically symptoms of IBS. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't think anything of it at first. I thought maybe I'm having a bad day. You know, maybe it was something I ate. Yeah. Um, and then like a week went by and a month and I started to notice these symptoms were happening to me on a daily basis. It was kind of daily. I was having these issues. Um, going to the bathroom like seven to 10 times a day, liquid stools. Did they start course, in like high school or college for you? Well, actually, um, I'm about your age. I'm, I just turned 32. Okay. I seen on Facebook, you have a birthday coming up. Oh yeah. It's tomorrow. <laughs> oh, is it? Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, you're yeah. just, what are you, if I can ask you 35. Uh, I think so. Yeah. 35. Okay. Just, <laughs> yeah. It's a few years. Okay. So, uh, and yeah, so my, school. my symptoms started in middle school, but they didn't really get too, they got bad in college. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was kind of fortunate. So in 17, uh, I was like, um, kind of late 20s. Mm -hmm. Oh, they kind started like in your late 20s. Okay. Yeah. So I was kind of fortunate in, in that sense. Okay. Um, but yeah, so and then um, my social life began to kind of plummet. I'm a very social person. I love yeah. talking to people being with people. But when you have these nasty symptoms, and you don't know when they're going to show up, you kind of like second guess going out for the for the day with your friends, family. And if you do go out, you're not there. You know, my friends were focused on the main event and activities and fun stuff. I was focused on the restroom. Mm -hmm. Where are the restrooms at in case I need to go? Because I'm probably going to have to go. And um, so I didn't know when the symptoms would start up. And what would happen is like when I would eat something, about five minutes to a half an hour afterwards, it would hit me. I'd have rumbling, cramping, gas, and then I'd have to go to the restroom. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of took place. And then um, I, uh, you know, I, yeah, it's cramping all the time. I would fart a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I always, you know, just kind of after I ate, made sure I'd go to the restroom and be safe like that. Um, so, I, and then I started to think about this and it was starting to stress me out. I was thinking, you know, a couple months went by now and I'm having, uh, all these symptoms and I was kind of thinking, well, I should maybe check in to this and kind of see, um, see what's causing this. And I was, I was brought up in a holistic family where like, we only take medicine if, if we really need to. Mm -hmm. And so that, so the holistic route was a route that I wanted to take. I wanted to go that route to try to um, help maybe see what's going on with my gut. And so just on my own knowledge, I started uh, taking probiotics and enzymes with some relief in the first few days to the week. A little bit of relief, but ultimately not really, because like after a week or two, like I was still going a lot. And when I would eat, you know, like main, mainly any kind of food, I'd have to go to the bathroom. The next thing I did, I started to do some detoxing and I started to cleanse and I was taking like these GI pills for your gut. So I started doing that after the enzymes and probiotics. Again, a little bit of relief, but, but not really much. And so with that, there was more stress going on. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, it's been like three months now. I'm having these issues. I'm trying the natural route, but it's it's not really giving me the uh, results that I want. And then and then one day it was it was kind of crazy. Um, on a weekend, I tried this pill called IBS Solution, and it gave me the worst gut pain of my entire life. Like that whole yeah. weekend, I I was in the bathroom like nonstop. 
Yeah. Yeah. There, there's one thing, you know, just public service service announcement, you know, probiotics really get like pushed as like, like, Oh, it's going to fix all your gut symptoms. When you are in a flare, do not take probiotics. It will make it worse. Yeah. Like it, it, it adds. So like bacteria and fungi are removing tissue from our gut. And if you take more, it's just going to be more symptoms. So uh, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about that more later, but just, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, absolutely. That pill was awful. Um, and then, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm just looking at my notes real quick. I was turning yeah. down all, all the time, hanging out with people. Yeah. It's like I was, a, I was like a home hermit or if I did go out, it was just by myself. And, and at this point, you know, dating, you know, I was single at this point, dating is out of the question when you always have bloating and gas and stuff like that. What, one time I remember going to the movie theaters and I think it was the first X-Men. And it yeah. was like the end. And I really wanted to see, like, I, you know, I wasn't like, I wanted to see what was going to happen, but I couldn't, I was on a date. I could not sit in my seat because I was going to crap my pants. And I kept running to and from the bathroom. And this, the girl I was on a date with is like, is this guy like afraid of Wolverine and Magneto? Like, <laughs> like what is going on with this guy? Yeah. It's, it's super embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's really tough. It really, when that's going on, you have like a lot of mental stress. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's really, really tough. Um, and so at this point, I made a decision to get on Google and some of these health websites and type in um, what could possibly be causing the issues that I was having. Yeah. And right, yeah. O right away, what came up was the candida. You have candida. You need to get on a candida diet and take candida supplements. Mm -hmm. And so that was the one thing that I found. And then the second thing that I found was they all said you have uh, allergies, like specifically gluten and dairy intolerances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I love how you always say, you know, dairy is like it's baby food. Babies consume it and they're fine. Mm -hmm. And dread was uh, I am a Christian. Mm -hmm. And so like when I read the Bible, bread's mentioned more than any other kind of food. Like it's mm -hmm. always bread, always bread. Mm -hmm. And and God told the Israelites, I'm bringing you to a land of milk and honey, milk and honey. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it, you know, yeah, I, I watch all your videos and it's, it's really cool. And I like what all you touch on, but um, so th those are the two things coming up. You know, I'm having these issues because of food allergies gluten dairy and I have candida then I began the roller coaster or treadmill of getting on these diets got on the candida diet taking the supplements cleanses and eliminating uh, all gluten and dairy from my diet um, these diets they're really stressful because like before I would leave the house in the morning it took me an hour just to get my lunch prepared oh wow and I was yeah like it took me a long time to, and think about supper how's that gonna look like and I was tired most of the time and weak from these, from eliminating all these foods from my diet. Yeah. And, yeah. and probably diet, maybe symptoms from the, from the candida pills too. taking these pills, but not and doing this diet, but really not feeling any better and not really getting any relief from my symptoms, you know, especially if on my birthday, like I like how you always say on your birthday, you can have cake. You know, mm -hmm. like on my birthday or on a special event when I would get off the diet, hindsight now looking back, this was all because I had food phobias. But when I would eat the bad food, quote unquote, it was really bad. I was really going to the bathroom mm -hmm. and, and having all kinds of nasty symptoms when I would get off the diet. You know, I only reacted to foods when I, when I was like crazy about it. And when I say crazy, I, I was crazy. I would walk. I, I would drive past McDonald's and give it the middle finger and curse it under my breath, if not out loud. Like I, I, I was, I had such insane anger, frustration, and rage issues. It wasn't funny, but it would get turned off in a day by reading some study about how sourdough bread's fine, and then all the, and then like literally the next day, sourdough bread's fine. Yeah. So that's crazy. Yeah, I followed you now. I've been following you since like uh, 2020. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. And I, I, I would have been on foods still then like foods and disinfecting stuff then. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, I didn't buy the program at that time. I, I did buy the, I am a member of the gut program mm -hmm. since I think late 2021. Mm -hmm. But I remember then like, um, I would watch you and I would try to get sourdough bread. You talk a lot about honey, yeah. um, yeah. oregano oil, one drop killing candida. Yeah. And so I was kind of watching you then and kind of doing a little bit of what you were saying with that. But like you said, the main the main issue that wasn't being met at that time, the the emotional stress. But yeah, and so I began to really lose a lot of weight. Um, I got down to one fifty five. Oh wow! Okay. And I'm I'm five eleven. Um, and right now I'm like two hundred pounds. Nice. nice. So for me, all my friends are like, man, you look you look bad. Like I was really getting <laughs> really getting skinny and not looking so good. And then finally, after a little while, I finally called my PCP, my doctor, and I went to her because I was like, I was like, this natural stuff ain't working too good. I'm gonna go see my doctor. Took some tests. I they diagnosed me with IBS, and they did a test quote celiac, and they said I did not have celiac, which you know hindsight looking back, and they gave me a uh, bento, I think it is. Okay. Just yeah. slow dental, I think it is. And it's just this, like the slow, the peristalsis down, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like a minor pill just to slow things down. So I really wasn't satisfied with those answers. Like they just said, you have IBS, you're not celiac, and we'll give you bent dental to take. And so a little bit more time went by, and I was still having all these issues. And then I found on YouTube the famous Dr. Berg. Oh, Dr. Berg. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which I've seen you did a few um, reviews on his videos. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're easy to review. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we all love the guy, but he's, he doesn't, I mean, he gives good, some good advice, but not, not really as, ter as terms as GNM and, and gut health goes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm going to just not say anything. <laughs> yeah. So I found him and his big thing was, you know, keto and intermittent fasting. Yeah. And here we go again with a body that needs nutrition. You're fasting, not getting it. Yeah. And on top of that, you're on this diet, keto diet, giving yourself more phobias. Yeah. And so I went on that diet for a little bit and I noticed like my mood was a little better and my energy levels were a little better, but the digestion wasn't any better. Like I yeah. still had the same issue. Like I would still couldn't eat hardly anything. Couldn't yeah. digest much. Still had the liquid stores. When I went on the keto diet or the specific carbohydrate diet, my, my food allergies got worse. Like I was able, before I did it, I was able to eat gluten in certain foods and you know have a mild reaction i guess you could say but after that i was in bed for like a day or two when i was cheating on those diets it was crazy yeah yeah i mean ultimately like all these diets just made me worse made me skinnier yeah. made me more afraid of food of yeah. energy and nutrients and then a little bit more time went by and then i seen a local I seen a, a natural doctor at a local holistic clinic, not too far from me. I live in um, Northwestern Pennsylvania. There's a doctor in Pittsburgh that I went and I seen. He, uh, the, the kind of the same thing, you have candida, you have food allergies, put me on a candida and gluten-free diet, supplements and cleanses. Mm -hmm. and, and each time I would do this new, a new thing, I thought this is gonna be it. You know, I'm going to finally get relief. I'm going to finally be like normal people and, and just have, you know, a normal life like that. You know, mm -hmm. it's really what I wanted. And so I, I did that. I did that for, I don't know, maybe four to six months. Again, like not, not really any improvement. Yeah. Because again, again, wasn't, wasn't getting to the root cause of the problem. 
And then there kind of came a day, and I relate with you. I remember when you first came out with uh, GNM, you were saying like how it's not fair. You were saying how like you like there were people you knew that took um, antibiotics on a regular basis. They ate fast food. They ate gluten and dairy and all that stuff. And you're doing all these um, health conscious specific things. You should be super, super healthy. You should be able to digest anything. And yet, as soon as you get off your kind of diet, you're like really sick. And these people are fine all the time. Mm -hmm. and, and I was thinking that I related to you because I was like thinking the same thing. I'd be somewhere seeing people that didn't look healthy, so to speak. And they were eating and eating and they were fine. But like, as soon as I would eat whatever, like yeah. the symptoms began off to the bathroom I went. One time I had one friend, he was very critical of my diet. He goes, Mike, like I, you're doing it as best you can. I can see you're doing it as best as you can. But like, I would kick your, I'd kick your butt in a fist fight. <laughs> yeah. He's like, and he, and he would, he was super macho, super masculine. You know, probably I was weighing 150 pounds. He was weighing 200 pounds. And then one day he got a phone call from his dad in the middle of the night, like two in the morning. And it's like, Hey, your grandma's sick. And like, kind of like hung, it was kind of like a jerk. I'm, I'm sure his dad had good intentions, but it really caught him off guard. And was like, you know, he like really cared for his grandma. And right after that event, like he started getting hemorrhoids and burning buttholes and stuff like that. Yeah. And it, and it was kind of started to shift my perspective on like, wow, I, I, okay. Stress could probably be involved with this. When I would go on Google and from these people I seen, they would mention at the tail end of everything, they'd say, well, and stress can kind of have a play in that. Yeah. Yeah. But it was nothing like GNM where it's all mapped out specifically scientifically you know, it could be caused by stress, but primarily it's going to be caused by your GI that, you know, you got gut dysbiosis and stuff like that and candy mm -hmm. and food yeah. allergy. One day I, I was following you on YouTube and then I noticed for like nine months you were silent on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I noticed. Yeah. And I was, I was like, man, I hope Mike's okay. I hope you didn't have like a really bad flare and landed in the hospital. And, and I remember then you had a video, you came, you stumbled, across, or while well, you learned about GNM. And I remember watching your first video and I remember you said, um, the facts are stranger than fiction. And I, I kind of thought like, this is crazy what he's saying. You know, at first I was like, Mike, Mike threw out this idea of diet and cleansing. And this is all I've ever known. But I should have known, though, that after doing this and it not working out for a long time, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. You know, but like we get stuff in our head, we get brainwashed by society. And so the first like video or two, I kind of like I, I, I shut you off. I was like, man, I don't know if I can handle this. Mm -hmm. But then about a week later, I was like, you know, I should list. I should see what Mike has to say here, because what I'm doing isn't helping. The holistic community is not really helping me. And Mike's saying he's really healing and getting relief from this new um, setup that you're doing. Yeah, I, I remember when I was first told about GNM, I, I actually probably got like angry at the person who told me. But like my dream growing up was like to weigh like 175 pounds. For two years, I had a personal trainer. We would meet three times a week. And I did the whey and I did the, the creatine and all that stuff. I think I got to 160 and, and I had to be like super religious about everything. When I started GNM and I wasn't even dealing with my stress very well, I gained, I, I'm, I'm 210 right now. Wow. I, I gained 30, I gained 30 pounds in the first like two months, just like yeah. that, eating whatever I wanted, basically no symptoms. Yeah. It, it it was unreal. That's awesome. Yeah, that's no. You, you look good. I mean, I, I just you know pictures of you a long time ago. You were yeah, pretty pretty it's, skinny. Yeah, I was delusional. I thought I was healthy looking. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, you you look better now than you ever have been since being on YouTube. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So yeah, uh, so yeah, so I followed you and I started to really listen to what you were saying. And I remember telling my family about it and they're very holistic. And they said, you're nuts. <laughs> you're nuts. Yeah. I was like, well, maybe, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, so I, I binge watched you, all these videos you had on um, GNM and I just started to watch it and learn more and more about GNM and how it works. And, uh, and then I joined the program, like I had said, and watched all your specific videos in there, which helped me a lot because you get very uh, detailed videos in the course. Mm -hmm. And then the community having that, like being able to post something and like within a few hours, when you guys get back to me and, just, and seeing other people, what they're doing to heal, it just, it really connects us all together and we all mm -hmm. can heal. And it's just, it's just a great thing. But so at the top, so, learning about the information and I was looking back as I started to heal and I was thinking what was my original conflict because sometimes it, it's hard to like figure out what it was I, I really struggled finding mine and I, and I obsessed about this yeah um, yeah so yeah what, 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 what was yours looking back I think there's a few things um I was really having a lot of discord and division in my family Mm -hmm. I think I was, I was angry. I, I was thinking I can't accept all this stuff going on in my family, all this division and strife and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then the other one was, I wasn't where I wanted to be um, vocationally or financially. Mm -hmm. And I would just remember like feeling angry about that. Like, like I can't accept this. I can't, you know, it's crazy how in our language we use those terms. Like, I can't yeah. stomach this. Or, this makes me sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so with GNM now, it's just it all comes together and makes sense. But I think family and just not being satisfied where I was in life, I was angry and I wasn't able to digest it. Yeah. And then I was fearing food and fearing symptoms. Yep. I yep. was afraid of all these foods, like. People were eating them and I was thinking, oh my gosh, you're killing yourself. Like, mm -hmm. and then afraid of the symptoms, like not always kind of knowing the symptoms are going to be coming up. I'm going to have to, you know, excuse myself. And just looking back, that's kind of what I come up with. Yeah. To, to kind of help people find what that thing is. So, so what we're looking for is something that's important to our survival. And, and you'll kind of you'll, when someone's talking about the conflict, you'll kind of start to see a pattern in their words. So, so for me, like I obsess about like video games, girls, and like work projects. And you can almost yeah. put like video games and work projects together. Yeah. But somebody else I was talking to, and it was just friends, my friends, this, my friends, that my friends, this, my friends, that I'm like, Okay. His, his, his indigestible morsel is his friends because it all started after one of his friends like punched him in the back of the head for no reason. Yeah. So, so we're kind of like looking because we're trying to digest and absorb something in, important to our survival. Yes. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Now it, it makes perfect sense at the time, the beginning, not, you know, it was just so new to me. Mm-hmm. It's just so new. Yeah, it's 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 new to the English speaking world. It's 10, 10 years with maybe five years of some publicity. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm afraid a lot of the Western world wants to try to suppress this information. Yeah. You know, because it's it's free. It doesn't yeah. really cost money to use it. I mean, you just use you 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 relearn how to think about life and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. in the but no, like there's really like no money involved. So, you know, it seems like a very radical thing and, and it is. But when I start digging into the old literature in the 1930s, 40s and 50s, a lot of it is stress based for these digestive issues. There, there, a lot of them, there was like a big group of doctors investigating stress and its connection to gut issues. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah I noticed. Um, a few shorts that you had out recently you were kind of looking into a book yeah 
Yeah, they're, they're really cool. They could do some crazy things back there and get away with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, and so I started to use this information. And I remember one day I was with a family member and I really wanted to test this. I, I really wanted to put this to the test. Um, you know, f- from what I knew, I resolved my conflict. And that's why I was having all the symptoms. Because I believe with gut issues, the symptoms come in the resolution phase. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that, that's when people kind of have their big flares. But kind of just, just getting in an argument with one of your family members. That, yeah. that could be enough to send you. Like just that happening can send you to the bathroom. And then like the day later where you resolve it, that could send you to the bathroom too. Okay. So. Yeah. yeah. So like. And then I was like, I was, I was seeing all food is safe. Like having like this internal talk with my mind saying, you know, I'm not allergic to energy and nutrients. You know, I can eat, Mike says I can eat this. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jesus says I can eat this. I can eat this. Mm -hmm. And so I went to a restaurant and I ordered uh, a big pizza, which is a lot of gluten. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I, I ordered a milkshake. I mean, that there in the in the past would be like deadly. Yeah. You know, like a few days messed up kind of thing. And I, I, I ate it using the new knowledge. And like, I, I was just fine. Like later that night, I had a perfect BM. Nice. And that's when it, it really hit me. Like, man, this stuff really works. I'm going to tell people about this if they'll listen. There's a lot of people that their minds made up to do their doctor way or whatever and, Mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But if anyone wants to listen, I'll tell them. And I told my family, I think some of them kind of believed, some of them did not. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but then from that point on, it was just like, you know, I was just doing it. I was just um, able to kind of, and I really tested it kind of like you did. I would go out to eat a lot, eat anything, fast food, Mm -hmm. junk food and have like perfect BMs and it just uh, almost overnight it all changed nice nice you know like definitely within like a week to two weeks I was really in good shape and if I did have a flare I would I would look inside like okay this happened this upset me this happened this morning like it was like science I could go back and figure out exactly why I had a flare yeah were were you having like a lot of conflict with your family like when you were yeah I, during, I was during, like like de- definitely when that first started but like when you were addressing this with gnm where was there like a lot of conflict in your family yes yeah okay yeah 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 they're, they're definitely wise and you know some we can't like control what other people are going to do but we can control how we react to it mm-hmm. you know and like you had said like it says in gnm like if you can't change it, like downplay the conflict. Yeah. And yeah. some, some, if I could, if I could uh, get a solution to stuff, I do. If I don't, then I try to like downsize it, you know, just kind of make that the solution. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you know, G and, and the crazy thing is going to the GNM site and there is a lady on YouTube called, I think Melissa Sal. Yeah. Yeah. And she, I mean, I think you did an interview with her once. Yeah, she she's she's actually my neighbor now. She lives down the street. No way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, learning the GNM, it's not just for gut health, like it's for the whole total body. Yeah. Like for cancer and, and every all the organs and tissue. It's really just a crazy thing. It's not just a protocol for gut, it's for the whole body. I was blown away. It was it's the most intelligent explanation for you know, how the body works that I, that I've seen. So. Absolutely. And the thing is like the truths in the pudding, like this, this works, all the other things I did, the diets, the pills, the cleanses, mm-hmm. minor relief, but they didn't really heal. And now I, I feel like I'm, I've actually healed. Mm-hmm. And so like G and M for me, it's the only thing that really worked. Yeah. I, f- I forget what I was doing. We, we lived in a town or I lived in a town like two hours away from Kiev when I was living in Ukraine and someone had kind of just told me about GNM. And so it was like a two hour bus ride to Kiev. And so I was like reading the learning GNM website on my phone as we're 
going there and back. And I remember seeing them talking about the ring, the rings on people's brain CT scans. That was the thing that really just shifted my perspective on the whole thing. If someone yeah. has Crohn's, there's always going to be a ring here. If someone has lung cancer, there's always going to be a ring here on their CT scan. And yeah, th that's what blew me away. No, that's crazy. And you, when you learned about this, did you actually, you did get a CT scan, huh? I did get, I did get a CT scan. Um, okay. They, reading CT scans is kind of difficult. Yeah. But um, they're, the, the rings are a lot easier to see when the, the conflict is huge and the symptom has like really bad. And so, you know, my CT scan, the rings are, I know where they should, they, they will be, but they're in the brainstem and the brainstem is already small enough. And you can kind of see on those relays, it's like a little bashed up. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's a, Dr. Hammer said it was a skill that took three to four years to develop. So to be wow. good at, so that's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool. That's like, that's like the thing, like someone tr tries to say, like, you're making this up. You yeah. could like show them like this CT scan is like biological, physiological mm -hmm. evidence of what we're talking about. Like this part of the brain that controls whatever it's lit up. It has that, that, you know, that mark Every, on it. Everybody I talk to, it's always stressed. And, you know, half of them will go, oh, no, I'm not stressed out. I talked to him yeah. 15 minutes. Well, I, like one guy I was talking to, he, he was so convinced it wasn't stress. And I, I did not, I said, so, so I said, tell me what was going on in your life. He was like, it's not stress. It's not stress. <laughs> I go, okay, yeah. tell me what was going on in your life when it started. And he goes, well, I, I remember I was 18 and I was dating this jerk. <laughs> like it was like the first sentence out of his mouth. And then yeah. like a minute, like 10 minutes later, I'm like, you broke up with this guy. You broke up with this person, and then and then the blood started flying out of your butt. And he was, and they were like, Whoa. "Yeah, yeah, yeah." And I was like, "What was yeah, the most I, stressful it, period in your life?" And they're like, "That breakup." I'm like, there, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Like looking back now, hindsight, it 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 just all makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and. uh but yeah, I mean, I, I want to specifically thank Dr. Hammer and you for this yeah. information. It's it's really awesome, and you're changing uh, people's lives with it. Thank you, thank you. So thank you. you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to help people along the path a little faster than I did it. So yeah, yeah. You'd said about how many, how long, and how much money you spent. Oh, and yeah. oh my goodness. You know, even knowing GNM, there's, you know, I've recently done a lot of research on kind of how emotions work and how the mind deals with with trauma and stuff and I've, I found that to be really helpful to kind of navigate these conflicts yeah so. no absolutely yeah all that we can learn of the truth definitely helps yeah so did you have like any like techniques in dealing with your like family drama or where did you take like a more practical solution? What, what did you do there? Um, when I was able to distance from the people that weren't going to change, yeah, I, I did that. Um, and the people that kind of just being honest with them saying, you know, this, this stuff happened. And I think there needs, we need to have a little talk. There needs to be maybe some forgiveness and some changing. Mm -hmm. Um, so with, so with some family members, there was no, correcting it so i i kind of just distanced and some of the the family that you know was willing to work through stuff um we worked through it and that and, yeah. you know yeah one thing I, I'd, I'd like to point out like these traumatic events like really distort like how we see the world it's like I, i've seen some people like when they got broken up with their partner was wearing like a red a red sweater and now that person hates people with red sweaters. What a douchebag. He's wearing a red sweater. And it, yeah. it, it, and, it, and it like can seep in to all parts of your life. Like somebody who says, yeah. um, I hate them. They're, they're untrustworthy. And it just, it, and it could have been part of the conflict. And then now all of a sudden half the people in your life, you despise them <laughs> because they say, um, 
it, it yeah it, it can really like th- that's what it kind of turned in for me i was just angry at everything because everything got in the way of me playing video games so yeah it's yeah like it's like irrational but like it's it's i don't know it's crazy mm-hmm. cool yeah. cool so what, what are you gonna have tonight for dinner um or what, what was what's like your last like meal because sometimes i'm just at a restaurant and i'm like sitting down eating and i'm just like man yeah four years ago i would be walking by this restaurant with my middle finger yeah yeah um tonight probably either pizza or uh tacos i love tacos like talking about tacos in a while tacos yeah yeah i love to and I, I know you like chipotle and i do too yeah yeah so yeah maybe maybe pizza maybe like a taco something like that i'm thinking it sounds pretty good i think yeah that's where i'm from that's just a couple hours away it's it's a quarter to four now so um and if i can share uh, i do have a youtube channel yeah yeah tell i don't us know about if it. one of us can put a link down below yeah yeah i can definitely uh it's called the balance life dash eight pillars okay and uh it, it comes from a Christian perspective. I'm just trying to help people um, balance our lives. I just live a better quality life. And I go over a lot of spiritual, mental, physical, social, environmental, occupational, financial, and personal. Yeah. Those are the, yeah, those are the eight pillars. And so and it's interesting when I'm talking now, coming up soon, I'm going to have a whole series on GNM. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. I'm going to have have a whole series so if the people watching want to check it out maybe subscribe that that really helps me out uh, i've been on there since summer i have only have 70 subscribers i see you have almost twenty eight thousand. Hey, it 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 used to be a thousand per month but now it's like a hundred but um <sighs> well it's it's i got i got hurt when i took my old videos down but i i, I like just couldn't sleep at night with my old videos up yeah yeah, de- definitely. So, but um, but I'm no, getting, I mean, I'm getting back on the content making bandwagon. Just yeah, that. I'm I'm done like making new con- new courses and stuff. So, okay. Yeah, but no, this is great. Uh, thanks for having me on. And yeah, yeah if your people want to learn more about kind of my channel, they can just go check it out. The Balanced Life Dash Eight Pillars. All right, yeah, guys, I'm gonna have a link down below. So go down there. It, it, there's not many places. You can learn about GNM. There's like four channels, and a lot of those channels don't even post regularly anymore, to be honest. Um, yeah, so go, go, go subscribe. It's called the Eight Pillars. What's it called? The Eight Pillars, uh, the Balanced Life Dash Eight Pillars. All right. Yeah. So I'll have I'll have a link down below. So go go click on that. Sweet. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's my story. So cool. Great. Thanks for sharing that. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on.